now, Tony, you're not messing around. You can't play games with dessert. See, I wanted to get some of Tony's cupcakes for my niece and my faraway nephew. And Tony recommended her cupcake specials. These little boxes we had made are so cute. But while I was filling your order, I ran out of the boxes. So is this cupcake going to go in a box? Uh, I ran out of those boxes, Bill. Oh. Anyway, those cupcakes over here are for your niece. And over here, those are for your nephew. But they're the same number of cupcakes in each order, right? Of course. We wouldn't want to start World War III. Good. So suppose we wanted to find out how many cupcakes are in each of Tony's cupcake special boxes without opening the boxes Easy. It's... And, and without her telling us. Okay, I'm just hanging out over here. So in algebra, when we don't know something, we call it an unknown. And by great tradition, we often call the unknown X. So over here, we've got three unknown cupcake special boxes and one spare cupcake. So we write 3X plus 1. And on this side, we've got two unknown boxes with three extra cupcakes. So we say that's equal to 2X plus 3. Are you going to solve for X, Bill? Yes, Tony. We're going to solve for X. You see, in algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation is OK, as long as you do the same thing to the other side. So let's start by subtracting 2x from both sides. 3x minus 2x plus 1 equals 0x plus 3. So look, now we've got x plus 1 equals 3. So now we'll subtract one cupcake from each side. So x equals 3 minus 1. Look, Eureka, x equals 2. There are two cupcakes in each of Tony's cupcake special boxes. And that is a very good deal. It sure is. Because these are excellent cupcakes. That was for your nephew. Mm. Oh, we just got to balance the equation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>